Wi-Fi in the house is an issue, and Maria is going to help solve it. Well, not me so much, but why? <laughs> if you've but got a problem. I have a problem, so I have some questions for you. Do you have problems with your home's Wi-Fi signal in parts of your home? I know you do. I do. Do your kids complain about lag when they're gaming? Does the video pause or freeze often when you're binge-watching your favorite streaming shows? Of course, we've got the guy with the answers, Juan Carlos Bagnell from SomeGadgetGuy.com is here to solve those problems for you. We're going to start, though, with first... Why are there dead spots in yeah, our homes? It's, it's worth just happen? understanding, you know, Wi-Fi isn't magic. There are radio signals that travel through the air, and so different construction materials. Like when I first moved to L.A., my home had cinder block walls mm -hmm. and no signals getting through there. So just the, uh, the, the build of your home can influence how wireless signals get uh, sent okay. throughout. Uh, the distance, you know, if you've got like a longer floor plan, the, the distance from your router can also have an impact on that signal. And then also just, you know, uh, we all have a really messy, uh, wireless existence right now. I have four wireless radios on my body oh my gosh. right now, let alone all of the things in your home that can cause interference, So what microwaves. do we do? How do we maximize that signal in the house? Okay, that's a very good question. So there are a lot of new technologies. You'll see dual band and tri-band as these uh, labels on the box. I do. But I see, these, I, even in some homes, I'll, I'll try to set up to the Wi-Fi. And you'll see two different networks. Say, yeah, it'll say 5 gigahertz versus 2.4. But it's the exact same name. It's the same name. Right. And so that's actually a benefit. So when you're setting up your own network, one mm -hmm. of the things that you can do, uh, if you have kids that are playing games or you just want the best signal to your HD TV, try and focus those products on your five gigahertz, the, five. the 5G. Okay. So that's gonna be the faster throughput. Everything else, if you've got smart light bulbs or other uh, sort of low uh, power connected devices, mm -hmm. put that on 2.4 If people G. come to visit you, they want your Wi-Fi? Give them the 2.4. Give them the 2.4. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about the game changer though, yes. because we are talking this about the really mesh network, stuff. and this is gonna change your life and get rid of some of those extenders that is in your home, Well, right? and wireless networking is stuff that you shouldn't cycle very often, right? Okay, you, so let's you, talk about this. You've got some older gear in your home, and you need something that's going to help you uh, catch up. I have the iOS tower. I know yes, I have the Apple tower. So the, the old to Apple Wi-Fi. So yeah. this is this is a Linksys Velop, and this is uh, from TP-Link. This okay. is one of their uh, their Deco series. But what these are, instead of just having one big router that you have to figure out where to put it in your home, you got these individual stations that get spread out throughout your home. Okay, we have Way a video. Back. We have a video to show, kind of show yeah, you. We right? can show this off definitely. because when you're in your house, uh, you can kind of position. The, these in different items, places different where places. you have trouble spots. Exactly. Yeah. And these are way different than when we used to have old repeaters. Mm -hmm. Those repeaters would slow you down a lot. And we've played with a bunch of different things. Mesh creates a broader Wi-Fi signal where you're going to get your fastest speeds throughout a much larger floor plan. And really quickly, you just plug them in. You don't have to sit there with tech support. Each one has its own different flavor. I use an Eero. My folks use Google, Linksys, Deco from, uh, from TP-Link. You're going to set this up through an app on your phone or through a tablet, and then they'll guide you. On, on my Eero, they actually showed me, like, oh, you should move this to a different outlet so that you'll get better spread. So but it was that easy to say, like, oh, I just need to move this in, to a different corner oh, so of my room. so it actually tells you where to exactly. move it to. Exactly, yeah. This stuff to... has gotten really sophisticated. You don't have to guess, like no, I should put no, one no, in no. the middle of the house and then put one on that side. <laughs> right. Right? No, it, it, the, the, the setup, the guiding process has gotten a lot more user friendly. Okay, so what do you get in the box? So it depends on what kind of package you get, but you'll usually get one or two, I mean, uh, two or three of these individual stations. Mm -hmm. uh, the one I'm on had, uh, you could expand to four because oh. I needed extra room for uh, for our garage. But you you uh, you try and set one up sort of centrally in, in the middle of your home or your floor plan, and then one where you're having more issues getting good signal. Okay. And that's really it. Okay. And then you can expand from there if you have other concerns or if you have a, a larger home. Yeah, it's really simple. You can forget all those problems that you've been experiencing. You kind of see like your home, yeah, they'll put that, it up. That's, I think that's my first home. Uh, is this your first home? Home, yeah. <laughs> this, is right your, this is your actual home. <laughs> Listen, go to our, our website. You can hit foxla.com to learn more as well as re-watch these tips that we talked about so you can join the season finale of Game of Thrones coming up this weekend no without that video freezing. No buffering. On your smart TV. That's right. <laughs>